Or just in general, or if this is your first time, uh oh. Okay. What do you got, can you hear man? Me, Travis? Um, yes, I can. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was trying to set my computer up and it does not echo back the the uh, microphone. I sat in on uh, the embedded online conference this past week or a week before, and one of the presentations was on CLI in embedded apps. That's a command line interface. So I kind of played around with that a little bit. Uh, I think I posted something on one of the channels there. But basically what that allows me to do is to control my app from the uh, debug console, the debug terminal. Okay, so here we have my, uh, my device connected to a putty terminal is what it is. Okay. And uh, what this allows me to do, scroll down here, the uh, command line interface, there's several implementations out there. Um, the one I've grabbed has uh, some uh, nice little features in that it has uh, command completion. So if you start to type the command, it should complete it. I've got a GitHub uh, repo out there that has some demos using this particular implementation. Um, one of the demos is one that should work with bare metal. The other one uses a RTOS. Um, this, what I'm running here is on the WIS block, which uses an RTOS as its operating system. And the RTOS example runs this command and processing within a separate task. And the third implementation out there in my repo is using free RTOS as APIs to also do some command line uh, interface usage, but it does not have some of the features this one here has. This is, uh, I'll, I'll post the repo to the chat here. But what it can allow me to do is, you see several of the commands here. A couple of these are built into the base repo that I've copied and updated. Um, but ones I've added are stack check, heap check, app version, set debug level. And then I've got a send test tran. It's a little uh, routine that I can run to send a test transaction. Basically, it's, it's mimicking some sensor input to send off to the network. And right now I've got the debug level set to zero. So no debugs going out, no debug, debug outputs going out. So if I set, type in set, and right now it did the command completion. If you can see that, hopefully you can, the debug level. If I set that to four, which is the highest, and send that transaction again, now I get debug output. And so this is something you have to, uh, you have to modify the debug uh, macro that's being used to dump this out in order to test for a variable. So within the command line interface processing, I set a variable and my debug macro checks that variable. So I can sit there and I can send test transaction. If I just hit my up arrow, I can send it again, repeat. What I've done with my version, it's not in the repo, is I've given it a repeat capability. So if I wanna send this test transaction again and again and again, I can say repeat is true every four seconds. And every four seconds, then it'll send out this test transaction. And I can go back and say false and it stops. One of the commands I've added is a stack check. This shows me the stack statistics of all of the RTOS tasks that are running within my application. It's been handy for me to take a look at how much stack space is left to determine whether I need to increase it for that task or this one here probably has too much, too much stack space allocated. It's not using it all. It's not even close to using it. 
And then we have a heap check, checks the heap. So this way I can monitor my application as it's running. Um, before I implemented this CLI, I would set a debug flag to enable this printing. And then how could I control how often? Okay, I used a, a time check loop. So after you know five seconds, I would dump it out. Five seconds, I would dump it out again. But I had no way to control it on the fly. So it was either there or it wasn't. So this has been handy to uh, be able to run some things that I want to do occasionally within my application, but not have to recompile and predetermine the repeat cycle of it. There's a spot in a couple of spots in the uh, code that handles the keyboard input where you have to tell it, okay, Based up on this input, I want to call this function. And then you implement what you want to do in a separate file. So the actual code to implement the heap chat is in a separate file from all the others. So it's pretty easy to add to augment to whatever functionality you want to put in here. This is great. I, I never thought of doing this before, um, before this fella had given this uh, spiel. So. Any any idea how much uh, effect it would have on battery life if you had this uh, running in your app? Uh, well, it's if you don't have debug, if you don't have anything turned on, I do have a uh, a task that's running that is waiting for keyboard input. Is it just like it's just a regular? serial what available uh, loop. And being an RTOS task, it should, nothing's available, it's going to block, it should release to the other tasks. I don't know the answer to that question, in other words. OK, yeah, no, no problem. Um, but I wouldn't expect it to uh, chew up any more battery time if you're not doing anything with it. Now, there's a repeat. That a repeat that I've added, that uh, task handling the uh, interface, the command interface here, that task is constantly checking to see if that repeat flag is set. Um, so that's going to choose some time, but that can be changed to uh, to use a signaling mechanism to prevent that constant checking. I love it. This is super cool, man. So. For whatever that's worth, I'll like I say I'll post the uh, re my repo out there in the uh, chat. Yeah. And so you said you uh, have this implemented on a whiz block right now. Yes. Very cool. Yeah, it's it'd part of neat. my ongoing pet project. Yeah, it'd be neat to see it go on like some of these education kits, you know, that are based around the whiz block. I mean, uh, you know, when you throw stuff. Like this, at kids who have never messed with embedded at all, uh, having some type of tool set like that, you know, just a little closer, uh, mm -hmm. make a big difference. So yeah. uh, that, that's slick. I like it. That's it. Thank you. Bye. Ah, thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs>